bought a year ago. It's one of my cats. Hey, it's contributing editor Maria Cristina with your Thursday video. Today, I want to talk about airport bookstores. They are sadly lacking in comic books and graphic novels. I wrote about this last summer and the situation hasn't changed. I didn't expect it to, but it's still really disappointing. There are plenty of illustrated offerings in the children's section or the humor section that might have something like hyperbole and a half which is fantastic, but not much in the way of narratives. In that piece that I wrote last summer, I acknowledge that there are legitimate logistical reasons why airport bookstores can't stock everything. There's just a lot of good that can come out of stocking even one or two graphic novels or trades. So here are some things that I think would do pretty well in an airport bookstore. There are super handsome, hardcover, deluxe editions of some really awesome ongoing comic books. Like, uh, oh, we've got the unbeatable Squirrel Girl. Check her out, Hanging 10. And Lumberjanes. Look, it says to the max edition, so these are special. Lots of powerful ladies between the two of these. You may know somebody who loved these, who read these and the individual issues, but they might get a kick out of all of the extras included in these hardcover editions. There are oftentimes alternate covers that they may not have seen, sketches, and other sorts of preliminary artwork. So if you're on your way to visit somebody, you're looking for a last minute present for them, and you know that they love Squirrel Girl or Lumberjanes or just really awesome ladies, you could not go wrong picking one of these up in an airport bookstore. Wouldn't you like to have that option? There are other less deluxe trades of ongoing comic books, and two that I think would be really great. Oh! Look, some more ladies. We've got Paper Girls and we've got Monstrous and my upstairs neighbors. Not everybody is into the whole capes and tights thing. That's fine. With these, you get a little something for everybody. You've got this sci-fi nostalgia thing going on with volume one of Paper Girls. And you have this kind of high fantasy world in Monstrous and their ongoing series. Someone could put it down and immediately go find out where they could read more. Volume ones like these would be really great gateway reading and I think having them in an airport bookstore is something that, well, these are both by Image. Image! Please try to make that happen. And with all the success that Wonder Woman has been having, I feel like DC is missing an opportunity here. They should place Bombshells Volume 1 in airport bookstores. Lots of new readers might be interested in getting a taste of the DC universe where you don't necessarily have to come to it with a lot of knowledge about continuity because uh, Bombshells sort of rewrites history a little bit, reimagines the World War II era. As you can tell by this stylized outfit that their version of Wonder Woman is wearing on the cover, looking super cool. She's got her little lasso there. You would be absolutely pulled in, especially right now. I think DC should really ride that wave. And I feel like I've got to mention just as a friendly warning, don't, don't read this. I mean, read this, just not when you're traveling by air. It is called Air. It's a really excellent, bonkers story. But you see this this woman right here who's in free fall, she's a flight attendant. So even if you're not a nervous flyer, that's just not headspace you want to be in. Not any image you want to project out into the universe while you're traveling. But definitely check this one out. 
too while I'm on this recommendation spree. If you've ever seen any graphic novels or comic books on your travels, I'd love to hear about it. Please share your experiences in the comments. And that's all for me today. Thanks for watching. Hold on a second, I've got a cat stuck in a duffel bag. Dude.